Today we're looking at the plugin picker in detail. There are three ways you can open the plugin picker. Middle mouse click on the desktop. The second is to use the view menu plugin picker option. The third way is to use Ctrl F8 keys. Now, within the plugin picker, there are a number of categories as you can see, sorted according to plugin type. As you probably know, you can drag a plugin from the picker and drop it on a mixer channel to create an instant link, or you can drop it on the channel window. The same is true for effects. Drag and drop the effect plugin on the mixer track and slot of choice. So let's look at how you can add your own plugins to the plugin picker. In this case, I have a Magix Effect plugin, Amphibia, which is a compressor limiter. The first thing to do is open the Browser Plugin Database category you want the plugin to appear under. Then from the Plugin Wrapper menu, select the Add to Plugin Database. And there it is. Note that whatever preset you have selected and plugin configuration is also saved into the plugin database, which is pretty handy. You can also add a plugin to more than one category if you want. As you can see here, it's now in two places. So when we open the plugin picker, middle click on the desktop, there it is ready to be added to the project. You can see that it's also under the dynamics category we selected in the browser. So what if you want to remove plugins from the database? This is slightly more advanced, but it's pretty simple. Open the FL Studio installation directory, usually program files, image line, FL Studio, then browse to data, patches, plugin database. In this case, effects, dynamics, compressor category, and there it is. There are three files to delete. The plugin picture, .bmp, the preset, .fst, and the information file, .nfo. And you can see it's gone from the compressor category. If I delete it from the limiter category, then it will be completely gone from the plugin picker. If you've done some serious plugin database configuration, you may want to back up the plugin database directory for future installations. With that, I'll leave you to enjoy the plugin picker and database.